So, where do you see yourself in five years? Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Creative Exploration series. This week, I wanted to talk about something that actually gets talked about quite a lot, but it's not often executed on, and that's planning ahead. Specifically, I want to talk about making a list of goals that you want to accomplish over the next six months, one year, or even five years. Now, making these lists can seem like an awful lot of busy work and not always a productive way to spend the scant amount of free time that you might have. But I feel that having a plan really helps guide your decisions and your attention as you move forward and progress in your career as an artist. Say, for example, um, that you make music and you want to start creating music for video games in a year. Suddenly you have a goal and then you can take that goal and you can start looking into the steps to make that goal happen while writing down the process. Now, writing things down is one of the most important parts because if you have it stuck in your head, if you have it all memorized, then it's not really physical and it can tend to shift from time to time and you don't really want that. So you want it somewhere that can be easily accessed and referenced if you need a refresher on what exactly you are doing. So personally, I'm a fan of writing things down initially while I plan out the steps. And doing it this way allows me to shuffle the steps around and find the best way, the ideal way for me to actually progress towards my goal. Now, once you have all the steps down, you can work on moving this list into a more permanent location like a Trello board or a Google Doc or something that allows you to access it easily and it's very visible. Because this way you can always pull it up on your computer or your phone and if you need a refresher, you have those notes wherever you are and you can actually add notes wherever you are. And that's vitally important as well because these roadmaps that you make are always fluid and always changing. They almost never stay the same. Like, you know, you don't know what's gonna happen five years from now. So you wanna make sure that you have a way to modify your goal list and your steps without having to, um, without having to rewrite the whole thing, basically. So now all that's left is really making the list or really ideally lists because I think it's important to have a plan for six months out and a year out and even five years out. So really, what do you see yourself doing in five years? Where do you wanna be? What do you wanna be doing? And how do you wanna be making things? Do you wanna change your methods? Do you wanna change the way that you create art or uh, send it out to other people? So taking that goal in mind, you can start researching on how to make that happen. Sometimes it's just getting in touch with the right people or learning a specific skill, but oftentimes it's just putting in the work necessary to make it happen. And even sitting down and thinking about that and how much work you need to put into something, it allows you to actually block out the time to learn that. And that's super, super important. Now, you don't have to get really detailed in this part. You just need to list out the large milestones to make that five-year goal happen. Um, and now what you can do is you can take one of those large milestones and turn it into a one-year goal, and you can focus on that one for now. Or if all of your large milestones are fairly small, you can group two or three together into your one-year goal. Again, you can take that one-year goal and you can break it down into smaller and smaller details. Eventually, you'll have a pretty good idea of what you need to do, and you will probably have a set of small goals you need to achieve within the next one month or six months or, you know, in a very short period of time. Now, either way, you'll be able to easily see what you need to do now to continue forward progress towards your main goal or even your milestone. So again, making this list very visible and accessible is really the key for this because you want to have it on your mind at all times, but you also want to make sure that it's in a permanent place. So if things do change around, you're able to change with it. Because this list is ever present on, in your mind and on your phone, it also gives you really, really great satisfaction to check that task off like right away, right after you complete it. Okay, so for an example, I'll go back to the, the example I had earlier, uh, writing music for games. So let's say your five-year goal is to be somewhat sustainable at writing music for games. So one of your milestones should probably be just making one game soundtrack. That'll be your one-year goal. 
So a big part of that goal is to find clients, basically to hire you to make that soundtrack. So one of your six month goal, or maybe even your three month goals, could be to build a portfolio, create a resume, just basically create a website and create a, a web presence that allows you to sell yourself to other people. And now that you know you have to make a website and all this other stuff, you can work on making a design, work on maybe hiring a friend or something else to, to work with you to create that presence. And now you're breaking your three month goal down into maybe one or two week, depending on how complex you wanna be. And then maybe the six months after you create your web presence, you can start working towards finding a client and getting recognition out there and finding somebody to work with. And you know, the remaining time after finding somebody could be actually making the music. Now, that's a very, very broad breakdown and things always change while you do this stuff. And, but hopefully you kind of see the idea behind this process. Now, it should be mentioned that obviously these lists aren't going to be what happens because life always gets in the way. And there are always unexpected bumps in this roadmap that kind of veer you off course from time to time. But really, that's not the point. The point is to be able to sit down and plan out your goals because that helps you better understand how to reach them, most importantly, and it allows you to realize what steps you need to take to work in that direction, and really what steps to avoid if you get off track. And honestly, that is the most important part of doing this, and I highly recommend that everybody creates even a really basic roadmap of where you wanna be in a year, or even three years. It's vital. So do you have any planning methods that I might have missed? I'll be responding to comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Be remarkable.